what is woke mm. and where did it come from and what does it mean now? So I read this, it's quite a long article actually. Mm. I read it and um, it means, it means politically aware, stay woke, but where it originated, which is what quite interesting, it originated from a, a black, they believe the first time it was used was by a black jazz mm. uh, guy called Hudson Ledbetter. I think it was called Lead Belly is his name. And he was referring to a situation where there had been racist violence against black people because some black students had been accused of raping mm. some white women. This is in America, obviously, in the 60s. It um, might have been the 50s, actually. And he said, best stay woke. And what he meant was, best stay awake, guys. Watch yeah. out, there's, yeah. there's, there's violent yeah. attacks happening. Poor English. Yeah, yeah, it was poor English. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, he meant to say, but I'm, I'm saying, I don't know, I'm yeah. gonna, but maybe it's sound patronising about that, but I'm assuming saying best stay, best yeah. stay awake. Yeah. Stay awake to everything that's going wrong in our lives and the spaces, and that's what yeah, he meant. Yeah, that's what he meant, yeah. and to me that's a perfectly valid thing for him yeah. to say, best stay awake. <clears throat> and then it became, so then it was being, started to be used more by the black community, yeah. but then it was appropriated by the white community in the 60s, to be about being politically, yeah. what they called politically aware, then it really started to gather pace when BLM, your favourite yeah. organisation, adopted it in 2014, yeah. and then it's just exploded. Yeah. But what? But what does it mean now? Because actually now, even the left, the progressive left, who loved the woke thing, mm. it was it was taken as a very positive mm. thing. It's now regarded as a pejorative really yeah. so yeah. if you say somebody's woke it's yeah. now a negative yeah. and the progressive left are bemoaning this now yeah. because they wanted this as their slogan yeah. we're woke or whatever now it's been perceived as, as something <clears throat> offend, you know if you're woke you, you don't know what you're doing yeah. you have very bizarre bizarre views so how, where do you think where do you think it is now woke I um, mean I, 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 be I believe yeah. it's still there oh, it's yeah. not called woke anymore yeah. but it's I think it's it's still there. For my definition of woke, it really is where political correctness met social media. So up to the time of social media, it was called political correctness. And then social media took off and that word gained ground. And that's what we mean now by the word woke. Because people say, what do you mean by woke? What do you mean by woke? Well, what I mean by woke is online political correctness. That's woke. And without political correctness, for 150 years, um, if not longer. Um, for me, ground zero of all this is this is the beginning of feminism in the 1800s, middle of the 1800s, that came out of the anti-slavery movement. Um, cause that, that was the that was a social justice cause, getting rid of slavery in America, and rightly so. And when that was over, all these people went right. What's the next fight? Um, lots of women were involved in the anti-slavery movement in America and in the UK, even though we don't have slaves here. Um, so we had all these social justice movies. We then picked up the next cause, which was, oh, women. Um, and that's when the victimhood started. I bought a book on this, um, available on Amazon. And, um, I was thinking you should have your books <laughs> on the wall or yeah. on a shelf behind it anyway. And, um, so it all started there. But you write about the walk bit. I've, I've read that several years ago. It was a black African term meaning stay awake to, to the injustices we're facing as, as a people. Then the, the leftoids took it over and it was like, I'm woke, I'm woke. It became something to um, be, be pleased about. There's articles in the American papers, the Guardian, about how you should be woke. And then it got turned into a pejorative. And then those same papers then started saying, we never said we were woke. Mm. You've made that word up. Like, no, we've got articles off you saying everyone should be woke. Um, but now we've killed that word now as, a, as something to be proud of. But the problem's still here. Um, it's just this long-term political correctness. And do you know where the word political correctness comes from? No. That's a Soviet um, story from Russia where you could say to somebody, what we need to do is A and B. And they'll go, I agree with you, but that's not politically correct. We need to do C and D. But C and D won't work. It doesn't matter. C and D is, is what we need to do because that's politically correct. 
and that's where that that's terminology is directly from Soviet. Oh, Russia. I didn't know that. That's yeah. interesting. So it's doing what your political masters demand you to do, not doing what is right. All right. So this is correct. Yes. Never mind that. that this is politically correct. Yes. We'll do this instead. Yes. That's interesting. Yeah. So just the very analysis of that word just proves the point that it's it, the whole thing's a bit of a sham in that yeah. case. And has its link to communism. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Another one that people don't know is the word brainwashing. So brainwashing um, started, or the term brainwashing came out of the Korean, yeah, the Korean War. So um, Americans would be captured by the North Koreans and the, the Chinese mainly fighting. And they would be told um, when they came home, what would happen would be they'd be bombarded with information. And if they then said the wrong thing, they were told, you need to go wash your brain of these wrong thoughts. Go wash your brain because right. they're, 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 they're wrong. And that's where the term brainwashing came right. from. Oh, I see. So I think in terms of summary of woke then, I think what you're saying is woke has ceased to exist as a term for the things that the progressive left or the progressives yeah. want to want to describe. They've abandoned the word. They've that. abandoned the word. Mm. So what's taking its place? What is is there a word that's taken it, its place? Social justice. A, social that's justice. what they tend to call themselves now. Right. So if you look, if you look if you go on Twitter to all these nut cases, they don't tend not to have the woke in their bio now. It's it's social justice. Social justice. And that's a, a big umbrella term that covers loads of stuff, I guess. It covers everything they want it to cover. Yeah. If they were genuine and they would they would remove the word social and they'd have the word justice. Yeah. Who's not for justice? Yeah. Social justice just means justice the way I dictate justice. Yeah. I remember when I was on Twitter there were certain uh, <clears throat> you know, logos and stuff on people's names yeah. that sent the chill down my spine. Yeah. And they were often pronouns. Yeah. They were often woke. Yeah. And they were the rainbow yeah. flag. The rainbow flag particularly, as soon as I yeah. saw it in anybody's bio, I would recoil, basically. Yeah. Three flags I hate looking at who always turn to be not cases. Rainbow flag, um, EU flag, <laughs> and the BLM fist. Yes. Yeah. Them, if you've got them three, then you're, you're, you're top marks, lunatic. Yeah. What, what I don't understand is, why don't people <laughs> realise that putting any sort of symbol like that potentially will have a life and will potentially have a connotation at some point in their future. That's the bit I don't get. Because they're on the right side of history. Because, yeah, until it's not, and then they take it up. But what do they think at that moment when they take Woker out of their biography or take the flag, Palestine flag out of their, you know? What, what? They replace it with the latest thing you put in, which yeah. might be the Ukrainian flag. Yes. Which might be the Iranian flag once we bomb the crap out of them. <laughs> yeah. There'll be something else to put in there to show that you're still on the right side. Yes, that you're still in the tribe. Yeah, it's all yeah. virtue signaling. I, yeah. I, I'm on the right side of history. Yeah. I, I, I just... The, 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 the very fact that a person will do that automatically, uh, whatever the flag yeah. is, suggests there's a problem, isn't there? Yeah. They have to get some sort of validation or verification. To show what yeah. tribe they're in. Yeah. Yeah. And, and anyone who uses the term right side of history yes. is an idiot Yes. because when you're living today you have no idea what the right side of history is Correct. only historians tell us the right side of history yes. you don't know what your side you're on at the moment Yeah. You know? yeah. and then sides change Yeah. It, it, it's, it's interesting isn't it and, and yeah you don't know whether you're on the right side of history I mean recently I mean we, we we try not to go international. But I've reached a point now with Trump mm. that when I say, I, and when I first became aware of Trump, mm. I thought, like most of the mm. progressives and most of the Democrats or, or most left-wingers, I was like, oh, what a terrible man, blah, 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 whatever, all that sort of stuff. Now I say to people, if we talk about American mm. politics, unashamedly, yeah. I am getting braver as I get older. Uh, you know, By the time I'm 90, I'll be incredibly brave. Um, I actually, I actually say, I like Trump. I think he's great. Yeah. And then I don't say anything else. Because yeah. what I used to say was, I like Trump, I think he's great, but I wish he wouldn't do this. Yeah. And I don't even do that anymore. Yeah. I just say, I like him, I think yeah. he's great. But I've noticed 
quite a few people now are saying, oh, I, I like Trump if he didn't such... A, it's almost like, yeah, he did some good stuff, but yeah. they always caveat him. I've stopped caveating yeah, now yeah. because... But I don't know if I'm on the right side of history with Trump. That's what I yeah. think. Yeah. That's what I believe. I think, you know, the, the, the things he's done for America... <clears throat> Have been great, the thing, and and I think he said it, didn't he, with this, Ira this Iranian thing kicking off. He said that wouldn't have happened if I'd have been in power, and I believe it. I don't think Ukraine would have been invaded. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think I don't think that would yeah. happen. The Gaza thing probably would have happened because yes. because they're just crazy. That just they stand alone. Yeah, exactly, doing, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But other things would have happened because because you had a strong leader. Now Trump's very divisive, as we all know. Um, is he a nice person? Well, a we don't know, and B. Well, there's a good chance he's not. Yeah. You know, he's narcissistic, he's bombastic. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you look at the history, you look at what he, his record of when he was president for four years, and I don't look at that now. What I look at now is, what does America need? Yeah. What does the world need? And I tell you what, we need change. Yes. And he's, he'll, he'll bring it. Yeah. He won't do everything correctly, yeah. but, but we need something. We need to roll that dice. And, yeah. and I'm hoping... He, he does some good things and changes I'm pretty things. sure he's going to win. It, it looks like it. Yeah, I, I, I can't see, I don't want to jinx yeah. it, Yeah. but uh, I can't see him losing now because everything that happens now, he just gets stronger yeah. and stronger. Well, I read an article the other day that Michelle Obama is thinking of, of, yeah. of standing. I don't think anybody likes Michelle um, Obama. <laughs> she still has that, that. Lots of people who vote Trump don't like it, but lots of other people like her yeah uh, but that's how panicked the republicans are yeah um i hope he wins I, I, we need that breath of fresh air we need him to finish the business he has four years to do yeah. and because he knows he's only got four years i think he wasted a lot of time in his first four years believe it or not 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 going as hard as he wanted yeah, to yes and he said this hasn't he yeah. what he said is i wish i'd just done what yeah. i want and it's interesting because this is what you're saying about your campaign yeah. isn't it you're going to do stuff mm. if you win the mayoral campaign, but you're working on the basis you're not going to be re-elected. So it doesn't matter it doesn't if matter. people yeah. don't like it. Yeah. yeah, and not only that, I'm I'm guaranteeing everybody in power across the country, all the ten councils of Greater Manchester, are all going to hate me. Mm. So therefore, I've got no intentions of working with them because mm. it'll take my time trying to work with them. I'm going to do all the stuff I know I can do that I don't need any yes. of them. Yeah. any of them to help with yeah so i'm just going to plow on and do the stuff i want to do because i don't need any partners in people who don't want me to succeed yeah so you need to assess the like trump you've got to assess the powers you have and yeah. you can do unilaterally without any yes. input and yeah. just do just do yeah. them and I, and I think that's a great approach that's my plan because that's what people because i weigh you down it'll be two yeah. years of discussions yeah. with yeah. council yeah and then like, oh, we can't do i've just wasted two years and they're, they're going to do everything to stop me. Yes. Um, and because the mayor holds some of the budget, I can blackmail some of them. Yeah. No, you're not having money for that unless you do that. Yeah. I'll, hold, I'll withhold your money. Yeah, yeah. And the reason it would work, that, is because you don't care about being re-elected. I'm not a politician. I don't need, I'm not here to make friends. I'm not here to be re-elected. I'm not here to be prime minister. I'm here to do three years of heavy lifting. And then that's the end of it. People better than me, more intelligent than me, will come along and build all the foundations I've laid. It would be great if you go in. But anyway, that's a separate conversation. If you like that video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell and comment. And if you like what I'm saying about running for Mayor of Greater Manchester, then stick around, tell your family, tell your friends. It's the only way I'm going to have a chance of winning is a grassroots movement. So be part of that movement and hit that bell. Thanks.